the El Pepco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is a signing day 2015 update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Scott Wright joins us on the phone. And Scott, signing ceremonies happening all over the metro, all over the state. Uh, where have you been today and what have you seen? I was, uh, I was in Kingfisher bright and early this morning for uh, Chase Sternberger signing with Kansas, Caden Jackson signing with Wyoming, four other guys who, uh, who also signed other, uh, with other programs. A uh, really big day for, uh, for a small community out, th out there uh, to have six guys going on to the next level. Uh, Jeff Myers, the head coach, has been there a long time and has never put out this kind of a class with this, uh, this size. Uh, they, uh, they've only had uh, one Division I signee since Curtis Lofton was, uh, was in high school back in the mid-2000s. So um, this is a really big deal to send two guys to the Division I level. A really exciting day uh, in, uh, in Kingfisher. Well, you talk about Caden Jackson going to Wyoming, Jay Sternberger going to Kansas. Uh, are there some guys like those two that may be heading to programs that aren't sort of the big name schools from our state, but that maybe some guys that could make some noise over the next few years? There absolutely are. I think the first guy that you've got to look at is Warren Wan from Edmund Memorial. Um, you know, he was an undersized guy at about 5'7 and, uh, and 175, 80 pounds. Uh, but uh, over the last three years, uh, you can argue that he's been the uh, the most electrifying player in the state when he gets the ball in his hands as a running back. And uh, for him to land at, at Arkansas State, I think he has a chance to really excel there. I think uh, by the time his career is over, he's going to be one of those guys that we're looking back and talking about, man, what if OU had gone after him or if OU yeah. if OSU had gone after him? I think he's going to be one of those guys. Uh, that uh, that goes and, and has a uh, stellar college career at a smaller school. Um, you know, another guy, DeMichael Harrison at Midwest City, only his second year playing football, 6'5", 290, had been a basketball player all his life, very athletic, very agile for as big as he is, um, and he's really very, very raw as a football player. Um, a lot of schools came in late. UTEP uh, offered. Tulsa offered, North Texas offered, and he uh, he ultimately picked North Texas. All of those offers came within here within the last two weeks, as uh, as guys were wanting to make sure that this guy was uh, was was really as good as, as as what some of his film was showing, and uh, and he really uh, has a chance to excel because uh, the ceiling is is just unlimited for this guy right now for for as raw as he is and as and as gifted as he is, um, you know, and then a, and a guy like Denver Johnson. From Cassidy going to Iowa State, I think is a is a big time steal. Uh, a big receiver, is very athletic, good hands. Um, you know, he's he's right in that in that realm with Dahu Green at Westmore, who is heading to ODU. So, uh, you know, there's there are a lot of guys in this class. Uh, I think the uh, the Division One signee list is is going to push toward 40 by the time we're all said and done with the uh, within state guys out of this class. So, uh, a really impressive class, and I think there are going to be a lot of guys scattered all over the country that, uh, that we're going to be uh, going to be watching for, uh, for, for the next four years and, and enjoying seeing how they represent the state. Hey, Scott, before we let you go real quick, uh, you saw Caden Jackson sign this morning with Wyoming. You're going to be going to Douglas yet today, and one of the guys that's going to be signing out there, D'Amico uh, Doddles, is also signing with Wyoming. I know every story is different, but it seems like Wyoming maybe has a little bit of an inroad with some of our in-state guys. Is there is there a connection that's obvious there that's drawing some of these guys who are who are uh, in that Super 30 or, or just next level down, drawing them to Wyoming? There's not, and that's what makes it so interesting. Uh, Coach Bath, the offensive coordinator, is the guy who is recruiting this part of the country for them. Uh, he's uh, he's a guy that lived in in Ohio. You know, he grew up in Ohio, played there at Miami of Ohio. Uh, was a coach there. Um, he has no no direct connection to Oklahoma. Uh, there's nobody on that staff that's uh, that's got a direct connection to uh, to Oklahoma. Uh, it's it's a very interesting uh, pipeline that they've developed. They're uh, they're expected to sign four guys from Oklahoma. They had a fifth guy verbally committed briefly, but uh, but Chris Bo got backed out of that and uh, is heading to New Mexico. Um, and that's another guy that I could have mentioned earlier about guys that are, uh, are under the radar and heading. Uh, and somewhere they could, could really succeed, but um, but four guys from the state, um, uh, Davion Freeman from Bell City is a, is another one, and then uh, Jalen Watson from Broken Bow, uh, going along with Donalds and, and Jackson to Wyoming. Uh, really pretty fascinating. There was a, a good length of time when Wyoming had more verbal commitments from Oklahoma players than uh, than anybody else, and uh, OU and uh, and 
uh, and Tulsa ended up catching up with them. But uh, uh, but uh, really impressive work by by the coaching staff there to to get those guys to come up to Laramie. Uh, and uh, and everybody talks about the atmosphere up there that uh, that I've talked to. They they loved it when they went on their official visit and saw what uh, what that place was like because because at, at Wyoming on on Saturday it's, it's the only show in town and everybody comes out for it and uh, you know they uh, they joke that it's it's almost like a ghost town during the week because it's just uh, just the college students left it seems like but uh, but they uh, they love Wyoming football up there and uh, and that was a big draw for a lot of these guys. Very interesting stuff. All, always interesting stories of how these recruiting uh, battles all come together, Scott, with some great stuff. Hey, be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oakland. <laughs>